Pollard, who's a water conservation specialist, is here from the Sonoma County Water Agency to tell us a little bit about how we can save some water in the kitchen and all through the house. Absolutely. Okay. So here in your kitchen, um, because your house was built after 1992, you already have a low flow faucet aerator, which is um, this area here from your faucet where your water comes out. But older homes may not. All right. And so um, we always recommend that people install a faucet aerator, mm -hmm. um, which I, I brought one here in case you needed one. It looks um, like it just screws right into your faucet. You're absolutely Pretty right. Pretty easy. It does. It's a very easy installation. Okay. Um, so, so that you can reduce your water use here at the, at the sink with, your, with a faucet aerator. In addition, I'm not sure how long you wait for hot water while you're here washing dishes, but if in some homes it does take some time to get hot water. So we always recommend that, that folks capture that water when they're waiting for it to get hot and then take it and use it to water their plants in their home or maybe at potted plants outside or something else that might need some water. Okay. So I noticed you were washing dishes when I came in. Um, and so we always recommend that, that, you f that you don't just let the water run. Right? Oh, you when mean like I was doing when you came in? Yeah. All right. You definitely want to have people <laughs> um, either fill up a larger pot and wash the dishes there in the larger pot, or if you have a dishwasher, which I noticed you do here, mm -hmm. um, you want to go ahead and use your dishwasher. And uh, full loads is always what we recommend. And I notice here you already have full loads going, so uh, great job. Yes, thank so you. You get points there. So how much water th is that going to save me? It depends on the household, but I would I would um, estimate between one and maybe ten gallons per day or per time you're in the kitchen doing dishes and cleaning up. All right, so that's uh, maybe five gallons. I know I'm in the kitchen 200 times a year. It's like a thousand gallons. Okay, not bad. Can you save me a thousand gallons in the bathroom? I think we can. All right, let's go. Okay, Carrie. So here's the bathroom. All right, very good. So let's start with the toilet, okay? Because that's All the right. number one water user in the bathroom. Um, so every toilet has a date, so you want to do is take a look at your toilet lid to find the date so that you can determine whether or not you have a low flow toilet or not. Okay? What year am I looking for? Anything younger than 1992. Okay. All right. Got it. Um, in addition, we want you to check for leaks in your toilet. You do that by just putting some food coloring here right. in the tank. And if any of that color appears in the bowl, then, then I know I've got a leak. You do. You need to, right. to get that fixed. In addition, there is an overflow um, problem here in your toilet, meaning that the water level is just too high. So you want to go ahead and adjust that by um, turning the screw here okay. to make um, the float drop down a little bit. All right, so over here at the sink, um, again, you have an aerator just like the one in the kitchen, so you're, you're set there. I did bring one just in case you had needed it. Okay. Um, shower heads, low flow shower heads. Again, you have a low flow shower head, so you, mm -hmm. wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily need this one. Also. Well, what does low flow mean? Low flow is 2.5 gallons per minute or less. Okay. So right. now that I've got my low flow shower head, I can just take these really long showers. Well, no. Yeah, yeah we don't recommend that. that. Cause you had that timer there. Yes, we have mm -hmm. a shower coach. It's a five minute shower coach to help you um, get in and out of the shower within five minutes. So that would only be 12 gallons of water that you're using. So you promised me a thousand gallons in the bathroom, but by my measure, if I go from 15 minute showers to five, that's 25 gallons for every shower. So I'm uh, Closer to 10,000 gallons a year just by making that small change, not to mention the leaks in the toilet, right? Absolutely. You're doing good. Let's go outside. Okay. okay. All right, I love my garden, but we gave up on hose watering a while ago, so we added this irrigation system. Right. This is what we programmed. What do you think? Okay, so it looks like you have two start times, which is great, and they're between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m., so that's a good start, but I think that we could take a look at the landscaping and uh, there might be a few other things you can do to improve. All right, let's go. It's right through here. All right, so I noticed from the controller that your runtime might be a little bit long. You want to watch for runoff, and as soon as you see runoff, that's when you want to stop the, um, have that be your maximum runtime, okay? Okay. All right, so shorter watering. Yes, and now look, let's go look at your garden. It's lovely. Thanks. We really did try to pick plants that were drought tolerant and colorful. So we've got lavender and echinacea and some other things like that. And, you know, we put in some mulch to protect the roots. Absolutely. Mulch is great. Um, it really helps retain the moisture in the soil and it benefits a plant so you can reduce that water use. Um, you did a really great job here in your landscaping that most people think of low water use as cactus and rocks and it's just a really great model for low water use um, plants in a garden. So good okay. job there. So between the kitchen, 1,000 gallons, the bathroom, 10,000 and that's just me. Um, what else could I save out here? I would say at least as much as you're saving in the bathroom. So we're up to 20, 30,000 gallons without counting the other people in my family. Yeah, it can be substantial. I think that'll make a difference. Very good. Thanks so much. Thank you.